G'day guys, so this is the part of the boat install that I was probably most nervous about sort of doing and not really, <clears throat> not so much most nervous about but the biggest decision obviously because predominantly as far as the flooring goes this is the thing that is going to stand out the most so Ask Gavin, friend of mine, you would have seen him one of the last things about building this whole floor. And he built a whole lot in the aluminium for me, uh, put it all together. Basically, when we're all finished and done uh, after that week, he said, now don't mess it up putting something ugly on top of it, which is true. So, had always had the intention of putting a foam flooring in of some description. And uh, once I found out about Evertread with fiber finish, started talking to those guys because what they can do with flooring just looks amazing so I thought rather than have sort of a half ass job of the flooring and sticking on just some stuff you can buy off the shelf and sticking it on myself and doing all that I thought no I'm going to find out more about these guys and, and do it this way. So the guys have sent me some samples and stuff of the of the material as well just to see if I like it as well as showed me how like the cutouts and stuff work and I think I'm looking at I'm planning on going with like a, a three color thing which I mean it's a lot thicker a lot softer but having three colors um, be able to incorporate sort of different patternings in the flooring as well as logos for work and um, just add a bit of colour to it, you know, like the whole boat is going to be grey, it's, it's an aluminium tinny, I'm probably going to go with the grey colour flooring just to keep it, keep it nice and clean, but just add a little bit of colour and stuff to it. So, essentially you can do a lot of this stuff yourself without involving the guys from Evertread, but um, what I ask them to do is to send me the plastic sheeting to use as a template initially. So clear plastic sheet and you can basically use anything you can buy from Bunnings or whatever that doesn't stretch. It needs to maintain its shape so that when you roll it all up and send it back to them for them to create the first template um, that it doesn't stretch or change because obviously if you lay it all out, cut it all or mark it all up and send it back to them and then when they lay it all out, they can sort of stretch it or manipulate it a little bit. It's not going to be very accurate. And then when you get your first template back, it's not even going to be close. So they've sent me the plastic and I laid it all out. And I'm just basically taping it down with electrical tape, gaffer tape, whatever tape I can find just to get it into position. So you lay it all out, bigger than your boat, obviously. Tape it down where you can and then start just carefully cutting around corners, compartments, um, little mount, any mounts you have on the floor, anything like that until you have a pretty good template of your boat laid out. Then what, then what I had to do was I had to send that plastic sheet rolled back up, back to the guys at Fibre Finish they put it through the machine and generated a template in their machine which they will then cut the foam out to. But it sort of sounds like a long process but this way it'll be perfect. So what they then do is send me back a paper template. So now that I have the paper template, similar thing, lay the whole paper template out across the floor of the boat, tape it all down in position so I'm using my main center compartment as my sort of starting position because it's the biggest hole in the boat. Then I'll go through and double check everything. So um, depending on how I cut it out first or how they interpreted my template, uh, there might be little modifications that have to be made, like little things for your for the ribs in the side of your boat that you might want to move plus or minus a couple of mil. So all I did was simply write on the side of them um, five mil out or copy the other side five mil in. Then I went through and wrote down simple things like where I wanted my logos, where my hinges were going to sit um, and drew little lines as well where I wanted spacing between my lids and compartments because 
I didn't want everything to be that tight that when it comes to trying to stick down the foam when I get the final product then it's going to be difficult for me to do so I left a fair bit of spacing between like compartment hinges where compartments shut open um, just basically trying to keep it nice and simple even around the edges of my boat where I've marked the, the ribs and mounts and stuff like that I've left a, fa a fair bit of space around there it doesn't need to marry up super perfect you know it, you want it I wanted it to be easier to install rather than um, it be like a millimeter close to the edges of stuff like that. I mean, it's a tinny. It's going to look really, really nice at a distance. If you sit there and you, and you nitpick on it, yes, you can probably say maybe I, I um, like should have marked it closer or further away or whatever, but um, it's, it's not what this boat is designed for. This boat is designed to be used and be comfortable at the same time. So now the final template, pack the final template up, send it back to the guys and they'll do the final little marks on it. Then they'll, they'll cut out all my, all my foam and uh, send the foam back. So looking forward to seeing the foam coming back. Um, I might even, I think at this point, get the guys to help me with the install of the foam just so that when I do a video about it, it will be 100% accurate and uh, no mistakes from myself about the way I interpret things. Um, and then yeah, pretty excited, can't wait.